In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will learn Boolean Algebra, De Morgan's Law and Flip-Flops. Boolean Algebra was developed by George Boole in 1854. It is the algebra of Boolean values 0 and 1, which explains the algebraic laws like commutative law, associative law, distributive law and the other laws. Let's start with the commutative law. The expressions of commutative law are a plus b equals b plus a. Let's prove it now. Let a equals 1 and b equals 0. Thus, a plus b equals 1 and b plus a equals 1. Thus, law is proved. Second statement is a dot b equals b dot a. Taking the same values, we find that both the answers are the same. Thus, the second statement is also proved. Next laws are associative laws. First law is A plus B plus C equals A plus B plus C. Assume that A equals 1, B equals 1 and C equals 0. Left hand side thus equals 1 plus 1 plus 0 equals 1 plus 1 equals 1 and right hand side equals 1 plus 1 plus 0 equals 1 plus 0 equals 1 again. As the left side equals the right side, the law is hence proved. Second law is a dot b dot c equals a dot b dot c. Assume that a equals 1 b equals 1 and c equals 0. Left hand side thus equals 1 dot 1 dot 0 equals 1 dot 0 equals 0 and right hand side equals 1 dot 1 dot 0 equals 1 dot 0 equals 0 again. As the left hand side equals the right hand side, the law is hence proved. The next law is distributive law. It is a dot b plus c equals a dot b plus a dot c. Again, we assume the same values of a, b and c. Left side equals 1 dot 1 plus 0 equals 1 dot 1 equals 1 and right side equals 1 dot 1 plus 1 dot 0 equals 1 plus 0 equals 1. As left side equals right side, the distributive law is proved. Apart from these basic laws, there are many other laws of Boolean algebra. They are very widely used but we won't see their proofs as they are very simple to prove. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Let's study De Morgan's laws. The law is named after Augustus De Morgan who introduced a formal version of the laws to classical propositional logic. The statement of the theorem 1 is the complement of a sum is equal to the product of the complements that is a plus b bar equals a bar dot b bar. Let's prove it now. Assume a equals 1 and b equals 0. So left side is equal 1 plus 0 bar equals 1 bar equals 0 and right side equals 1 bar dot 0 bar equals 0 dot 1 equals 0. For all the possible combinations of inputs we get left side equal to right side. The second de Morgan's law is the complement of a product is equal to the sum of the complements. That is a dot b the whole bar equals a bar plus b bar. Assume again a equals 1 and b equals 0. Left side is equal to 1 dot 0 bar equals 0 bar equals 1. Right side equals 1 bar plus 0 bar equals 0 plus 1 equals 1. As left side equals right side, the second law is also proved. For all the possible combinations of inputs, we get left side equal to right side. The main application of logic gates is to form the combinational circuits like flip-flops, counters, adders, etc. which are widely used in the digital electronics. But we will limit ourselves to flip-flops only. Seriously, pay attention. 
This is important. Flip-flops are basically used as memory devices as they can store the information. One flip-flop stores one bit of information. So, a computer hard disk contains millions of flip-flops. Depending on the combinations of gates used, there are different types of flip-flops like SR flip-flop, JK flip-flop, D flip-flop, T flip-flop, etc. But we will only study SR flip-flop as the other flip-flops are derived from SR flip-flop only. The structural diagram of SR flip-flop using N AND gates is shown here. The output of one N AND gate is connected back to the input of second N AND gate. The flip-flop has two inputs as S and R. Initially, let's assume that Q is equal to 1, so Q dash equals 0. Under this condition, let's apply the inputs as S equals 0 and R equals 0. Under this condition, the gate A receives the input as 1, 0. Thus, the output of the gate A becomes 1. Hence, Q becomes 1. Now, gate B receives updated value of Q. And hence, the input to the gate B becomes 1, 1. Thus, the output of gate B becomes 0. Hence, Q dash becomes 0. As there is no change in the values of Q and Q dash, the output remains same when S equals R equals 0. Consider the second case now where S equals 0 but R equals 1. Now Q equals 1 and Q dash equals 0. Under such conditions, gate B receives inputs as 1, 0. Thus output of gate B equals 1. Hence, Q dash becomes equals to 1. Similarly, gate A receives inputs as 1, 1. Thus, output of gate A equals 0. Hence, Q becomes equal to 0. As we can see, Q equals to 0, that is, Q resets. Thus, R equals 1 condition resets the output. This signifies the name of the input as R. Consider the third case with S equals 1 and R equals 0. We have Q equals 0 and Q dash equals 1. Under such conditions, gate A receives inputs as 0, 1. Thus, the output of gate A becomes 1. Similarly, gate B receives input as 1, 1. Hence, the output of gate B becomes 0. As we can see, Q equals 1, that is Q sets. Thus, S equals 1 condition sets the output. This signifies the name of the input as S. Let's discuss the last case where S equals 1 and R equals 1. Now Q equals 1 and Q dash equals 0. Applying all the inputs to both the gates make both the outputs 1. Now, as Q and Q dash are complements of each other, they can't have the same value simultaneously. Hence, this combination of input should be avoided. This is the major drawback of SR flip-flop as we can't have condition S equals R equals 1. Thus, based on our results, we can draw following truth table for SR flip-flop. Let us quickly review what we've learned in this lecture. Logic gates are electronic circuits, which give the output only for certain combinations of inputs. AND, OR, AND NOT are the three logic gates which form the base for all combinational digital circuits. N AND, N OR, and XOR are the other examples of the basic gates which are also widely used. Boolean algebra was developed by George Boole in 1854 and includes three main laws as commutative law, associative law and distributive law. Augustus de Morgan stated two main laws which are known as de Morgan's laws and are very widely used in digital electronics. Flip-flops are combinational logic circuits used as memory units. Different types of flip-flops are SR flip-flop, JK flip-flop, D flip-flop, T flip-flop, etc. 
SR flip-flop is the most fundamental flip-flop among all the flip-flops. For S equals 1 and R equals 0, the output sets and for S equals 0 and R equals 1, the output resets. Hence, the name SR flip-flop.